Today we're going to subject a specimen made of C45 to the Vickers hardness test. In the hardness test according to Vickers, a four-sided diamond pyramid is pressed onto the sample surface with a defined force for a defined time. The resulting indentation is then measured. The softer the material, the larger the indentation, and the harder the material, the smaller the indentation. The Vickers hardness value is obtained by dividing the test force F in the unit kilopond by the indentation surface A in square millimetres. The specimen to be examined is placed on the test table and aligned accordingly under the microscope. On the screen, it is now checked whether the camera image is sharp. Since this is not the case, the position is adjusted electrically until the camera image is suitably sharp. The absolute camera focus is set electronically. The test head must be swiveled forward by the tester so that the test can begin by pressing the start button. The pyramid then moves in the direction of the workpiece and the test force increases uniformly up to the set value, in this case HV10, which corresponds to a force of 98.1 newtons. After the holding time of 10 seconds, the test head moves up again and the specimen is unloaded. The indenter is then swiveled out of the way and the objective is swiveled forward so that the two indentation diameters can be measured on the screen. The enlarged indentation is shown on screen. The software searches for the indentation via a light-dark comparison and delimits it with four lines so that the diagonals can be measured. The hardness of the material is displayed on the screen and is 301 HV.